being the same thing. And what people don't see is the life-threatening or crippling application that Kung Fu contains that if you are assaulted and you choose to use it, you will either kill or handicap permanently the assailant. And that's a moral choice that you make. You know, some guy is a little drunk at a club or something like that, gets a little stupid, pushes you around a little bit, and maybe takes a swing. You know, you have the choice of using your chin na and restraining him, or knocking him out, or breaking his collarbone, or shattering his knee, or plucking his eyes, or depending on how violent he gets, shattering his Adam's apple, thus causing him to drown in his own blood. Or you can just choose to take that punch. You know what? Go screw yourself, man, and walk away, because you know what you can do. Somebody said, you study martial arts. You study how to fight in order to never have to fight. Because the only thing that really forces you to fight are two things. Either your life is being threatened or your ego is being threatened. Mm. Somebody slaps me in the face. Do you think it's fair? I mean, would you judge me as a good person if I went all out on that person? And the fact that they didn't even know who they were slapping. So, so always remember that, you know. Miles, you brought a good point. You, you said something beautiful. You said, how do you trust us with this information? And how do I trust you is those black belts, it's, it's basically those black belts that you're wearing around your waist. You have proven yourself. Out of hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of students, you have proven yourself. And that's why you are entrusted with this high level of knowledge, because you have earned it, because you have gained it. How many hundreds of people never made it past black belt? You didn't just go past black belt, you went way past black belt. You acquired this information and now you're understanding how to apply it. Try, try that one a couple more times. So we'll